Hello everyone, warm welcome. It is time for the decoding and today we are decoding an article from the ET Wealth newspaper. Before I begin, let me share that reading the ET Wealth newspaper or any other magazine and financial news is just a part of my daily habits, daily routine and that helps me be a wealth creator, sustain my wealth. So, inside of this commitment to help you build a daily routine with your finances, this decoding we are bringing and another intention is also to help you learn how to decode information. So, that's that's pretty much the intention. I am not paid by Economic Times to do this live. Let me share that. So, this intention is pure, clear and it is only towards contribution and making a difference to you. So today the article that I'm going to talk about is on page number 11. Page number 11, the article talks about um, if your husband cannot handle financial matters, then, you know, what do you do? How do you make sure that your financial life and that of your children is not hit? So that's the topic for the conversation for the decoding today. Okay. Hi Kaveri, Rohit, good morning. Hey Pooja, good morning. Everybody who is around, do acknowledge that you are right here, ready to begin on your financial success. Hey Namita, hi, good morning. Warm welcome. Hi Usha, good morning. Okay, so I am reading it. Okay, so the headline says, my husband can't handle financial matters. Find out what to do. If your spouse is the sole breadwinner but has no acumen in managing or ensuring family's financial security. So if your spouse is a sole breadwinner but he is not good, okay, he doesn't have the skills to manage, um, you know, manage and ensure financial security for the family, then here are a couple of things you can do. Uh, some of the things I will read from here and some of the things I will create from my own uh, working with thousands of women at Women on Wealth. So I'm going to combine my experience with that of what is written in the papers here. So um, first it is talking about why this divide exists. Okay, Why the husband can't, like why are we even talking that the husband can't handle financial matters? Why is the headline not... My wife can't handle financial matters. Why is it? Right? Um, so the need for double income and working spouse. And a working spouse may have blurred the segregation duties. Segregation of duties. But the deep patriarchal conditioning still sees a large percentage of men controlling the financial reins. So well, this is another way of being in patriarchy, having the husband, the men manage finance. I mean, finance is not a gender role, but so it has become with all the patriarchy that exists. So here the key is that, well, the men might be controlling the financial reins right now, but with more women working and contributing financially as well, tables are you know, shifting or how do I say it? So in some cases, okay, in some cases, even the husband may lack the ability to deal with finances. But he continues to do so, right? He continues to manage the finances because he has no other choice but to manage it because he's expected to manage it. And of course, he's not able to also break out of patriarchy like we are not breaking out of it. So there's no blame here. But it's an equal role men and women are playing in the world. So, um, this could be, okay, why he is dealing with finances and, you know, he doesn't know to deal with it, but he's still managing it whatever way. This could be due to the need to retain financial control, which is, of course, patriarchy, right? Where you want to just control stuff. That's one. Or you want to sustain your image as a financial caregiver. So men are doing it because they want to maintain that space. Like look at it, okay, we say it's tough for women. I think it's tough for men too. Like I'm no feminist here, okay, because I believe in equality. So, you know, how I'm feeling is that, okay, you know, look at them. They have to sustain their image as a financial caregiver. 
they have to you know retain the financial control because they're expected to how would life be if we take their this role this burden off them how would life be okay i'm just i'm just creating possibilities for the future the men might be managing money not because they know but because the wife's inability or the wife's lack of interest that leaves them with no other option but to manage it yeah because if your wife if we women are not willing to take interest we are saying you know we're constantly passing the buck that okay it's your job and you got to do it because i have too much on my plate well these are all excuses right we can all complain about patriarchy existing and you know how women are being you know um whatever used abused blah 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 financially but let me tell you you know i really feel we women have an equal part to play because if we stand up we start taking interest okay and this is an important area of our lives i think there are three important areas of our lives health relationships and wealth these are top 3 areas for any person's life whether it's a man a woman so you know if we are just passing the buck that oh you know i have too many household chores to manage or i have children to manage or you know i have a job plus household plus children plus parents plus parents in law i got it can you know can we really get into a conversation with him and can we first build in that courage to take charge build the courage to take charge get into an open conversation get into an open discussion he may resist it initially anybody will right because all of a sudden he is not going to engage with anyone on the topic especially because you know he's been expected to manage it for so long and all of a sudden the change ain't coming but can we plug in the change with an open discussion and that's what et wealth is also saying number 1 have a discussion be frank be open authentic honest right um now you know when i'm saying be authentic be honest i'm not saying go ahead and just warm it around no you got to get down with your mentor and do mocks on how to talk what to talk you just can't go there and start babbling right that that ain't going to work so how about that an intention is set okay and then whatever you will speak inside of that intention it will land on him nobody wants to live in patriarchy or nobody wants to you know live in the ways of the world everybody wants love everybody wants peace everybody wants companionship intimacy you know just yesterday i was speaking with one of my mentors and he said priyanka intimacy is a function of how much you're willing to share your life with the other yeah like you and i you know i could be speaking here in the live and you're right here connected with me and i am right here connected with you because we are really closely sharing our lives an important aspect of our life with each other and that's intimacy and if you want to really build it then i think you know we need a mentor so you know for me it's not just if you've never had the conversation or we want to get into it you know we want to shoulder responsibility like i love this these two words which are written in et wealth that if you want to, if you want to shoulder responsibility if you want to handle the finances as a team how would life be now this is a future getting built if you notice what are we doing we are building a future that we are living into right we're not now coming from the past how we used to live it no we're now coming from okay this is the future i want to build with you this is what i'm committed to now how do you build it for that it may be that you need mocks you know you need to learn how to communicate you need to sit down with your mentor like really have open discussions share your heart cry if you need heal yourself so these are the first few initial steps that need to happen okay i'm repeating it creation of the future 
is a very big piece there because until that future shifts because right now what's sitting in the future is husband will manage it no can we alter the future okay that's one number 2 is choose a financial role that you want to be playing you can't pick up all the pieces right in one go yes if you've done the money gym course you can pick it because you've skilled up but anybody who's other than our money gymer who's not done our course if you're listening you can't pick all the pieces in one go because you don't even know what all pieces exist right we think oh investing is the only thing or budgeting is the only thing that's not so there's an entire financial system that needs to be put in place and if you're not learning if you're doing it by yourself it's going to take a very long time right like inorganic growth is faster do a course learn it execute it right but if you're choosing to take the organic path it's going to be longer and you can't take up everything in one go so pick one item at a time budgeting investing okay financial planning diversification investment portfolio building mapping the returns of your investments now I'm, now I'm, right now what i'm doing is helping you dig yeah helping you dig a couple of structures which form which are a part of this financial system okay so choose the role you want to be playing because of course you know when you build a future okay when you build a future that this is the future i want with my husband this is how i want my relationship to be this is who i am okay then actions will show up example communicating is an action that will show up inside of that commitment to a larger future okay being a team bringing him on the same page building in that intimacy okay that financial intimacy requires a lot of trust and actions will show up okay doing the mocks learning how to communicate effectively choosing a financial role to play or learning about finances okay i would rather you know before anybody gets down to talking with the husband i would say learn build your own skills first build a vision of what you want because he is going to come along in that vision provided you are aligned to that vision okay so you know i would say have a mentor make sure you are a part of the community a community any community okay that you connect with any value system that you connect with and where your heart speaks with you okay so seek support don't do it organically it's going to take a very long time and it's not worth it is how i feel it's just not worth it so skill up learn organize yourself then build a vision for your husband with your husband over time okay and this is not something that's going to happen right now but if this is in your intention if a future is clear it's going to be built that's the key so make yourself financially aware literate seek support yeah whether it's a community whether it is a mentor do a course and then eventually yes start investing a lot of women make this mistake they just let their money lie the you know lie in the savings bank account or fixed deposits or post office investments or provident fund this is the maximum stuff that we women are doing yeah we tend to avoid taking charge and we let our money die the death of inflation right or we are handing over the money to the husband and then we have no financial control we don't even know what is happening where it's going we don't understand stuff so i think you know awareness understanding knowledge is a financial bliss and today in our generation we all need to stand up i mean gone are the days when women were dependent gone are the days when you know we used to say it's okay let him do it no i think they also want support they are also looking for you know like you know i was just yesterday my brother and i we were sitting together so i have one older brother everybody okay my brother is 12 and a half years older to me that's the only sibling i have 
so he and i we both are extremely passionate about businesses and wealth creation and money that's the common thread that my brother i and my father have it's a common thread in three of us like any time we are sitting together my brother and i my father brother and i we are constantly talking about business money finances i mean where the world is going what should be the next business we should be looking at etc so yesterday two and a half hours we spent together and what did we speak about just businesses okay how businesses are changing what's happening how should we be changing our businesses he was giving me ideas i was giving him idea he has a business i have a business and we all have our own businesses yeah so you know what i want to say is now you know this is a culture that gets built it's a culture right like we may say oh we don't talk about money in our house or we don't talk about businesses or you too money minded to be talking about this no we not money minded this is just our passion and and we speak from our passion we want to talk about our passions and we exchange notes and we contribute to each other like that yeah that's a common thread that we have yeah there's not otherwise there's nothing much we have really to talk about i mean i do talk about health because i really want to inspire him to you know um get into a healthy more healthy he he does live a healthy lifestyle but i want him to you know move towards a more healthier one and i do keep inspiring him for that too yeah so i mean in every relationship there are certain topics which are like those common things and can we can we make this you know as one of the priority items over time okay not like right away okay so start sharing everybody what are you taking away what are you learning understanding okay hi divya divya mehta divya singh hey pooja sonika maya deepa rinku sarita mukta good morning gabies okay i don't know your name gabies you are saying thanks to women on wealth now you handle majority of the financial investments at home uhu awesome and so proud of you we are the face of changing india isn't it we women are going to rock it together hey shika good morning usha you are saying one reason you observed is they lack patience to manage finance who knows you know who knows i think it's just it's just an observation right and who knows if that is so right because sometimes we don't know if that is so hi diksha megha good morning kaveri feminism means equality and equal access <laughs> you are a feminist priyanka got it and a fabulous one at that thank you so are you absolutely you're constantly empowering women by giving them equal financial education and financial responsibility for an equitable society each society knows their strengths and skills without factoring gender into it love that maya it is the age old perception that men the breadwinners are in charge and we were financially uneducated now we are in charge together with women on wealth and maya kaveri usha everybody gabby i want you guys to spread the word okay because otherwise nobody is breaking this system down if we women don't stand together and break this system right now okay this gender role system nobody is going to come together to kind of break it trust you me on it usha true first step is to build that financial trust in yourself yeah absolutely it begins with your personal transformation any time you want to bring a transformation in your family in your finances in your household with your spouse husband siblings anybody no no that it can't happen without you taking charge and you transforming your own self first we you know one of my mentors says we all want other people to change but change really begins from where you are <laughs> mega having a perspective and be able to share confidently with family or others is important absolutely absolutely okay nidhi amazing conversation with siblings priyanka yes i really will work on myself to build that relation with myself 
Nidhi, I am giving you a mantra. Build that future first. Okay? Write down for yourself what is that vision that you see with your sibling. Siblings, siblings. Okay? Like what do you see? What is that future you want to build with him or her? Okay? And, and then you will see actions emerge. And it will require a lot of courage. And that's why you need a mentor. Okay? That's why you need a mentor. You need a community. Because these conversations when you've never had, they're very difficult to have. But then, you know, the path will become easier with a mentor supporting you. Kaveri saying, men are also victims of patriarchy. Oh, I so believe it. Absolutely. Women's liberation movement is 50 years old. Men's liberation movement has barely started. They need to be able to break out of the toxic stereotypes that they are boxed into. Oh my God. Lovely. You're speaking my heart out, Kaveri. Society is truly free. Only when each individual can build on their strengths and know their weaknesses. Immaterial of the gender. Love that Kaveri. Okay guys, so how many of you are taking back value? Please type in me. How many of you today are taking back value from this conversation? Like you're taking that one thing with you. Because even if this one idea that connected with you from the entire life, I think the life is a success. So... Who is taking back value? Type in me. Got that. Nidhi, Kaveri, you shared this. Thank you. Got that. Usha is taking back value. Mukta is taking back. And Mukta is also saying, I agree with every word that Kaveri is saying. Got that, Pooja. Love that smiley. This life spoke your thoughts. Got that, Kaveri? Yes, Maya is taking back value. So is Neha, Megha, Puja. Awesome. And how many of you are spreading the word? Okay, type in share. If you are sharing this video, if you are talking about women on wealth with people in your life, if you are really encouraging one woman, you know, if each one of us, if we just take on making a difference to that one woman, trust you me, your surroundings will alter. Yeah, And as your surroundings, your immediate circle alters, the world will alter. Because if everybody looks at it like that, that okay, let me just, you know, make a difference in my immediate circle. That's it. Transformation will begin. And I'm serious about it. Can you guys take on just making a difference to one woman? Just bringing one woman to Women on Wealth and getting her, helping her with her financial education. Right here with the courses, with the community. Like really being her guide here. Diksha, I like what you said. Husbands also need support. Yes. Got it. Thank you for sharing the video. Mukta, Diksha, Deepa, Kaveri. Mukta is saying, speak to at least one woman about wow every day. Got that Mukta. That's, that's what's needed. Trust you me. Like I come every day to support you. You go out every day to support the mission. I think that's what, yeah, that's what I'm asking for. That's what I'm inviting each one for. Because I think this mission really requires all women to get together and break out. That's the power. Yeah, that's the power that we will all really grow into and look at it. How our lives and our world can be 10 or 20 years later. Think about that future too. Okay, and live that future. Let's live an extraordinary life because I think we all deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. On this note, I'm closing this live. Thank you for participating. Take charge, stay safe. And I see you now in the next live. And I look forward to seeing you and your friends and family in the free introductions to the Money Gym program. One is coming this Sunday at 11 a.m. Take charge, stay safe. And thank you for all those hearts, loves that you guys are sending. Bye-bye, everyone.